Hello and welcome to Danny Design Studio. I'm Danny and this is the March Class in a Box. Today we're using the lovely waves of the ocean papers that are only temporarily um, on sale. Uh, so the next catalogue, uh, the annual catalogue which is due out in May, will not have this lovely stunning DSP. So the stamp set that I've used and the dies that go with it, um, these will carry over on to, into the annual catalogue and I've used these sentiments on on these cards here. So those will carry on but the papers won't so if you like it then I would um, say grab it while you can. So the technique uh, we're using today is repeated for all four cards. Um, so I'm just showing you one card um, and uh, that is the example that will be repeated so uh, it's just a short video today um, and I didn't want to make it too complicated as I have a big spring event next month so I wanted to keep it straightforward but also I think um, this technique shows off these papers beautifully so let's just put this aside and what you have in your your um your box will be each card will have a little cellophane packet so it's quite easy to dis distinguish what what you need so we have got an envelope and i have done a lot of the cutting out for you this time um only because it's easy and i'll show you how to do that um, die cutting and everything and what I've used for it. So your envelope you can put aside, your card base, this is Knight of Navy um, and these three pieces, I'll put that aside for the moment, um, that you need these three pieces for your um, for your card that you'll need um, and basically I'll show you how I did that so I have used the lovely um, stitched rectangle stri stitched framelit dies which are these these are very old um, but they still they're still doing them but this is an old um, set that I've got so this is what they look like absolutely I think gorgeous um, and these are the ones that I have used to cut out our rectangular shapes like that so the first one I've used is the 10 by 13.5 then this one is 7 by 10.5 and this one is 4 by 7.5 so and I've had to cut my card base which is 28 uh, by 10.5 and it's in landscape so that you get the equal edges on that side and that side of the Navy, Knight of Navy cardstock otherwise you'll get a bit more um, of an edge on this side and it just looks better uh, more presentable if you if you just snip a little bit off so um, let me show you how I did that. So to get the pattern you need your die cut machine. Let me see if that's in view. Just about. So you get your piece of DSP and you then put it on like this. So if you ever wanted to do this design you could just about get it on and out of one sheet of DSP I have cut six pieces of DSP out of one sheet of 12 by 12. So once you're happy then I've just sort of put some tape over because it will move 
it does move slightly um, but it still works even when it moves and I've done this a few times now to see if it's it's in view yes it is so <clears throat> and then you put it through your your die cut, gutting machine so I've done that already so this is what I've come up with so what you do once you have cut it all out and you get this lovely stitched edge as well which will be shown off in the in the card eventually so you then need to make sure that you have the pattern of the 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 pattern of the paper whatever paper you use you can use it on so many different papers <clears throat> it just shows off shows off the paper really well I think then I have given you a lot of foil um, but I am using the white cardstock so your first bit of white cardstock um, and this is again all cut for you 13.5 by 10 then you have got another one 10.5 by 7 and then the next one is 7.5 by 4 so these will all stick on to here and that's all you need to do for the moment so you give you will have a lovely either a foil border the foils come in Knight of Navy or um, oh what is this color well silver obviously but this color I'm not sure what that is that color is and I'd have to look at the actual packet um, but it's beautiful that's my favorite I think so you're going to get a nice little border you then stick that one onto there it's fairly straightforward I mean that backing that's beautiful as well that color but the stitching shows up on here better so I would use this now when you're mounting it on just be aware obviously that you're going to have a pattern but it doesn't matter if it's upside down because you can easily that's the beauty of having a, a rectangle so then do the last bit now if you're hand giving this if you're giving this by hand then I wouldn't put too many dimensionals on but I know for this I I would put this flat against the card and then raise this one up on dimensionals but I want to create um, an effect and I know that this is going to be hand delivered so I'm going to put this one on dimensionals as well just because it's just um, it's a nice effect so that's that one so I'm trying to to match up the colors put that flat and then so you're getting the pattern here and then that one will go that way so I've already used one of the dies in the, the waves of the ocean dies the wave dies that is so these are that's a wave beautiful waves they've got you've either got this one or you've got these and I've given you a selection of a few I've used this one for the happy birthday so it fits it fits it really well so now if you see on this one 
sorry let me just take this one so I have raised that up on dimensionals if you can see there let me just have a look can you see yes just about so that is going to be flat on the page and that is going to be raised up that side but before I do that I want to put my little cord in so I'm going to put that in that side and feed it underneath before I stick it down giving you probably enough and I think what I will do is just stick that down a little bit to keep it in place with a bit of tear and tape so then that is going to go like that to one side so a bit of glue on this side and just see roughly where I'm going to put it so it's going to go like that it might take a little while to stick and then that is going to go round like that I don't find this cord easy to work with to be honest but I need about three hands and then I'm just going to stick that in place so it doesn't move around because of the cord it doesn't want to stick that well so the easiest thing to do is put your dimensionals on and then we'll be ready to stick in place once you're happy so that still hasn't stuck right, make sure the cord is tight enough oh, not making this very easy am I there probably all think oh dear, I don't want to do that but I'm sure once you've got the hang of it it will be fine so then I'm lining all this up the pattern the paper that is eventually going to stick down the dimensional and then now this is the other thing that's hard I always do my my bows upside down I forgot to mention that I need to um, give credit to Tammy White who actually I saw do this technique with these papers so that she is another US demonstrator that um, I really need to give that credit to her really that I've just adjusted the I've just adjusted all the the measurements and there we go so you've then got some gems I'm going to mount it on here and you'll find that the border equals all the way around which is makes it super super special that goes on there like that simple easy really I think lovely technique now what I have given you in your boxes the actual gems that go with this paper this sweet but I haven't got any or I have misplaced them so I'm actually using these gorgeous sequins artistry blooms adhesive black backed sequins 
and it gives you uh, one, two, three, four, five, or four um, colours. So Clips Coral, Coastal Cabana, Mango Melody, and Rich Raspberry, and I'm using the Coastal Cabana. And um, you can see that it's got a sticky back and just gives a little bit of shimmer, really. Put one on there. One on there. Maybe one more. There we go. So that's your card. And then you've been given extra for the insert inside and the measurements for that as well. So that is your finished card. And you can see that they are all very different. So, um, if you're watching this video and you would either like to join Stamping Up, I would love to be your demonstrator if you love the products and the coordination, um, and I'd love you for you to join my team. Otherwise, um, and if you'd like to, to have a, a craft box delivered to you in, in, on a monthly basis, um, and if you live in the UK, um, I'd love to for you to get in touch with me. So that's it. Um, until next time, happy stamping crafters. If you like this video, please click the like button below and please subscribe and select the bell icon to all to receive notifications of when I upload. Thank you.